Right, so we're now going to have a chat about a product that I am I love. <laughs> I'm not going to mess around. I love heat sleeving. I love what it does. Um, I love how easy it is to use, and I love the way you can apply it to so many different parts under an engine bay to keep engine temps down. Um, now you brought with you three or four different ranges here um, of your product. Correct. This, as we were just uh, talking about again off camera. But we're going to explain to you guys right now. This is the thinnest in the range, but this is the, another heat sleeve. So I think, I don't know, a misconception is sometimes of course. That a heat sleeve is a big, bulky. Uh, you know, we've all seen that industrial orange, yeah, you yeah, know, fiberglass heat sleeve. But hey, them days are gone. We're talking about the 21st century. Exactly. Now. The things are getting sexy. You know, we're talking about <laughs> a really nice product uh, made by you guys. This does an incredible job, but. This is the thinnest one. So this is, as we was, you know, we were just talking about a minute ago, this is for an application where it's not direct in heat. So, you know, not for an oil line going through a manifold exactly. or something like that. It's more for something that's, you know, going to be in the engine bay, still going to get hot, but not as hot as everything else. Exactly. So we'll, we'll talk you through them all, then we'll get them out and show them side by side. But heat sleeving really is something that gets overlooked and a lot of people, they, they just kind of put it to one side. Uh, but like you say, the silver there, that's really good just if you just want to protect, again, from either rubbing or you know heat transfer but if you if you're worried about really intense heat transfer and something is right next to you know a real heat source you'd start to essentially go up the range so this one here is essentially your entry level and we'll show you that a little bit later it's obviously the thinnest but it will do a great job and it will continue to look quite quite smart in the silver uh, the sewn finish there that you see Moving on, we, we do have the same product, but in gold is a little bit thicker. And obviously gold does reflect slightly better than silver, reflect heat away slightly better than silver. So therefore that's gonna be, you know, very, a lot closer to the heat source. Um, and again, sewn makes it just nice and nice and simple. And it looks nice throughout. And again, this is all, all available in different um, diameters and different lengths to suit your calls. And the last one we've got is the high heat silicon sleeve. That's nice and stretchy, it's really subtle. Uh, it's in the black there. And like you mentioned earlier about the orange, this is a silicon variant. Um, and you know, you can really easily get that over, you know, because always the big issue people will say, <laughs> my line is 10 mil, but at the same time, my fitting is 20. How do I get around it? This sort of product really would work for that. And it really is good for oil feed, oil drain, that sort of stuff on turbos, which, you know, that just by keeping that a little bit cooler is really going to help help um, cool everything down. We understand that it's not always possible to essentially remove one end, um, you know, from your application from the no. car uh, to slide a bit of heat sleeving over it. So we have actually also produced our um, our Velcro variants in the same colours, the silver and the gold. Obviously, they work just exactly the same. But we'd always recommend that you just kind of keep the Velcro away from the heat source, and actually, as that is the weakest point. Um, but again, we'll just get it all out now, and we'll show you exactly how they look, how they're fitted. Uh, just put them next to each other, and you know, we might. Have and do an overlay there just to show uh, the different temperatures that these are all good for. Brilliant. So for me, I think the biggest thing and, and, and it is, uh, you know, a big question point is I can't take this product off the car. It's part of the loom. It's yeah. a brake line, you know. I don't of course. Pull my brake lines off exactly. to, to heat wrap them because maybe they go through the engine bay and, and then have to re bleed my brakes again. I think the, the Velcro solution that you guys have come up with it is absolutely ideal for, for things like that. Yeah. You've got it, and it's in more, more options than that. Some people with wiring looms and that sort of stuff, it's not always possible. Some people even cut slight holes in that to, to have a branch of a wiring loom or a sensor or just something like that. And you know, with, with heat sleeving, it really is just trying to protect what's inside. If it's wiring, you don't want to burn your wires. You, you want to keep the, the electronic signals working as intended. If it's brake fluid, you don't want to boil that any more than necessary. You want to keep that nice and cool. Same with oil, same with coolant. We've got all sorts of different sizes from seven mil diameter all up to 50 mil diameter in some applications wow. so for a huge variety of things we've known some people that have got coolant pipes that run very very close to their turbo or very very they're almost touching the back of the radio in actual fact they're warming up as opposed to staying cool right yeah. so um essentially that's what every, every product is for and if you're not sure just hit us up and we'll be happy to point you in the right direction of what sleeves for what but that's what this video is for, here for today
Brilliant. I think this one's my favourite, I'm not going to lie, because uh, I want to get into it straight away. This is a product that we use a lot here at SB Motorsport, is of course the silicon one, as you mentioned. Um, I'm probably going to struggle to get into this I haven't now. made that easy for you, have we? <laughs> there we go, straight in, no messing around. Um, and we use it typically here at SB Motorsport for covering things like this, this vibrant AN line. You know, uh, AN line has changed in the last five, ten yep. years. Uh, it's gone a lot to these cloth covered yep. black braids because, you know, it looks smart or an engine bay, it's easier to work with the stainless steel stuff yes. can sometimes be very difficult. Although this still has got a stainless steel core. But for things like this, where you want to keep you know, that stealth look, yep. but you need to have a heat barrier, this AM4 straight in there, no worries. And like you say, the silicon makes it super, super flexible still, and does the job. And I mean, look, I'm not gonna lie, it, we, have, we have put this on before and had it touching exhaust manifolds yep. or touching on parts of the turbo, and it's still not burning. Exactly, out. and with this, it obviously is black, it does look, you know, it looks almost like it's supposed to be there, but you know, sometimes when it is touching a, a turbo or, or a manifold, it's not intended for that, but it, you know, it can do it. Some people say it's, it's starting to discolor. Well, in actual fact, what that's doing there is it means that the, the line itself, which would be touching it, is still protected inside. Essentially, this is taking the brunt of that. And that's what it's all about. You know, you, you don't want to cause an oil leak. You don't want to cause a fire. Therefore, you're just protecting that. And that's with all heat sleeving. So obviously, you've, you've opted for this one. And you can really see here, um, it can really work around corners because um, obviously it is stretchy. But at the same time, I'll show you just quite how stretchy that is. You can see there. I can really stretch that to maybe even double the diameter in places. So if you did have a nice big chunky fitting on the end of that, you can slide that over there and it's still going to be quite nice. And again, this kind of comes in uh, five different diameters and kind of any length you want really. Uh, but it is a great product. And I'll just get the other ones out and I'll just put them side by side. But essentially they all do different things, but just for different applications really. And it really does depend on, on what you need. So some people use them for uh, HT leads. Some people use them for, like you said, already brake lines, master cylinders and all, all that sort of stuff. Um, you can see here this is the silver sewn, sewn version it is a lot thinner but at the same time it has a job these are just our half meter variations but you can kind of get the idea um, of kind of what they'd, they'd look like in a, in a larger form and here's one of our gold ones and as I was saying to Ian earlier um, a lot of our products, they do actually use the same materials over and over again. Course, yeah. They're just made into a different way. So if you look at across our range, you might see that in, you know, reflected in that. So you can see here, same diameter. This one here is about 15 mil. So you, it's intended for a, a 15 mil pipe or a 10 mil pipe, something like that. Um, but yeah, it's just a little bit thicker. And then you can also see, if I just try and open these up slightly, as you can see that one there, you can see that one there. And if I hold the black high heat silicon, you can just quite see how much insulation is in all of those. And obviously you can see that this one here is for your lowest temperatures, but you still need some protection. This one here is for a higher temperature, and this one here is for extreme temperature when you're you know, very, very close to, to a, a heat source there. So, but yeah, perfect. Yeah, I mean, look, for me, these are perfect because things like this, the Sanco silicon vacuum line, I mean, most turbo cars now, even naturally aspirated, everyone's switching out to, to new silicon. The, yep. the manufacturer's old pipes now, not doing the job anymore. So nice, so easy to install. And as you say, does the job, keeps the heat away from, we, we all know silicon hoses, you know, especially these vacuum lines, very brittle, very prone to splitting under high temperatures sliding it in there straight away easy as well exactly so simple to do and does an incredible job it can also tidy up if you've got three four five or just some things that are just coming into an area you can get the larger versions that we have available and just slide all that in in one go and in actual fact it just looks nice and tidy out of the way if you don't have another uh, a fancy solution so it can work in more than one way and also some people use them for rubbing back yeah. in the day when i used to work in single seaters we used to have uh brake lines run from the front to the rear and you'd have a chassis rail but the bolted directly to that chassis rail was your brake lines and obviously in time that starts to rub this is definitely going to help with that as well as as well as the heat exactly well let's talk about this now these these uh velcro applications because i think yeah. there's a lot of people let's that sometimes uh, say you know how do i how do i heat wrap something that's a part of a loom with right. a plug on it you know and how do i make a you know a barrier between that and an extreme temperature and i think this is the easiest way around it exactly and that it's easy to install as well R really easy to install and you, you know, as soon as you unroll that you can see it's pretty much the same product as the previous one obviously it's just got a, a velcro hook and loop uh, on that as, as opposed to sewn 
has exactly the same job and you simply just take one of your let's grab that so this is a great example you could just lay that out there put your items in 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 in, in the middle wrap that around and you know just just fasten that up there and there we go you've got a protected piece there which for whatever reason you couldn't remove that uh, heat sleeve so you can remove that line but now obviously you've got a great fitment and it's going to work in exactly the same way and it's going to give you the same performances as we've we've kind of already mentioned with the silver the gold or the black in whatever variation you take and i think this is good as well you know if you've got a part that you want to service regularly but you don't yeah good idea sliding off the heat shield you know maybe you don't want to wear this down or you know put stress on it that doesn't need this is perfect for that application because you want to service that part you can easily take it apart. of course you know it, it like you say it's only velcro uh, bear in mind keeping that velcro away from direct heat sources of course it's easy to get to to service whether it's a, an an line a brake line it's easy to get in there check of it, course and then reseal it back up and it's going to do exactly the same job once again well one other thing that some people do end up using is, is kind of fuel rails so a lot of people might take something like this and essentially just use that on their fuel rail and just cut the, the appropriate holes in for the individual in injectors and you see that all the time um, or even some people just pop them out of the velcro whatever works so it's not you know just be because this is fixed how it is doesn't mean to say you can't customize it yourself just with a pair of scissors just to make it yours and make it work for your application again everything can still go around corners and work really nicely and tidy things up and yeah so it's a really versatile product and something that a lot of people do overlook yeah i think it is it's majorly overlooked but here at sb motorsport like i say we use a lot of it uh, and, and it does the job perfectly so there you go funk motorsport heat sleeving